trash can. Is that the app that stores all the Tesla's memories? Yep. Oh, I'll go give it a look. Wow, it has all of these clips from when we were driving. I wonder what the Tesla stores all this stuff. Oh, they're stored in the USB media. Okay, wait a second. Dad, where is the USB stick anyway? Oh, it's in the glove box. Okay, let me find out how to open the glove box. First try. Did you find a USB stick there? Yeah, remove that. It's pretty hot. The temperature. It says 128 GB. Mm -hmm. Anyways, here's the USB stick. This is such a small thing. Oh, no, I just have so many questions about this thing. Dad, how does this little thing so store so much data? How many videos can this little thing store? What happens if this is full of memories? Hmm, those are very good questions. So it can store, uh, you know, maybe a thousand videos because each video that Tesla records, it's about 30 MB and it takes one minute videos each time and save to the clip and uh, when it is full it will override existing videos okay i can't believe this thing can store over a thousand videos how many cameras this tesla have you know that i think it's about eight yeah and it takes front left right and back it takes four kind of different recordings each time okay so that's why there will be more videos. Huh. But don't you think that 128 gigabytes is a bit too small because there's sentry mode and dash cam on? Yeah, I do think so. That's why I'm thinking to upgrade to one terabyte. Do you think that sounds good? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. One terabyte is a large amount of space. Oh, now I get it. So this video is about... Uh, upgrading our usb stick to one terabyte is it yes okay let's get to unboxing and upgrading okay let's do it bye bye little guy this is the sandisk extreme portable ssd This looks like a phone case. I don't know if we actually need this. There looks like there's nothing else inside. So, this is actually shaped like a phone case. And now, the installation process. Step one, you take this USB and plug it into the SSD. And then you can open the glove box And once you've uh, connected the whole thing into, well, the port, you can close the glove box. Step two. Okay, I think this is very important, but you gotta format your SSD. 
Now, how do we do that? Now, let me show you. Okay, so you first tap the car down here, and then tap safety. Now, this should take you to this screen. Scroll down until you see the button, format USB drive, and then you have to tap it. And this will say, are you sure you want to format this USB drive? Tap format. And then success. The dash cam, I don't know if you noticed this, but the app dash cam before we formatted this was showing an X because we didn't have an SSD. But now it doesn't have an X anymore. And all our memories are gone. I'm just kidding. They're not gone. They're just in the previous slow guy. Uh, it's, it's not blank anymore. That means the SSD card is ready to use. The advantage of upgrading your SSD card is that it reads and writes faster than this little thing. Or little thing. And uh, you don't have to overwrite your videos to transfer it to a new SSD. Another advantage is, of course, it has one terabyte. So, how fast it reads and writes is 1050 megabits per second for reading and 1000 megabits per second in writing. Wow, that is very, very fast. Anyways, if you liked this video, smash that like button. If you loved it, subscribe. And until then, goodbye. Bye.